Hello everyone, welcome to this particular introduction video on structural building design using Prota Structure software. I'm engineer Prosper Okoye and I'm a practicing civil and structural engineer and I've been in the field for the past 8 years and in these past 8 years I've designed several structures, residences, churches, mostly in Nigeria and in, for some of my clients as well in Ghana. I have created a comprehensive video tutorial that will teach you how to make perfect structural designs using the Prota Structure software up from the modeling stage up to the analysis stage up to the design stage and then up to the detailing stage where you are going to see your reinforcement diagrams and printouts in standard format now in the modeling stage we are going to be talking about how you can model your architectural building plan either probably from an AutoCAD file or from a Revit file or probably you have the AutoCAD file you, you have the architectural file in a PDF format I'm going to show you how you can import your drawings from AutoCAD into Prota Structures or from Revit into Prota Structures now if you have your architectural file in PDF format I'm going to show you how you can model your structure directly inside Prota Structure software now after that we move to the analysis stage in this stage I'm going to talk about how we can we're going to talk about the loads we're going to talk about the dead load the life load we're also going to talk about the wind load for high rise structures now after we finish with the load we're going to talk about several other um components that you have to impute into the software like your concrete grid your steel grid your dimensions of reinforcement rods that you want to use take for example you are designing a residential building and you want to use 2 mm diameter bars you can impute those values in Prota Structure software itself. If you want to use 16 mm diameter bars, you can as well impute those values. You can have different diameter of bars for your columns, for your slabs, for your beams, for your foundation, and other structural members. So I'm going to show you how you can impute correct values into your Prota Structure software. This is very important if you must have a complete and correct structural drawings at the end of the day now after that we proceed to the design stage this is the stage where you are going to see the reinforcement diagrams in product structure software itself you are going to see how the reinforcement diagrams are laid if it's going to be four bars at the bottom or three bars at the top or whatever you can also edit the reinforcement diagrams in product structure itself if you are not comfortable with the design that is being uh, produced for you now this is important because there are some times where you might have uh, incorrect values in Prota structures now I'm going to show you how you can edit those values to get your correct values so that you can have correct output at the end of the day now after that we're going to move to the detailing stage this is the stage where you export your detailed drawings into AutoCAD now I have a very good template that you can use to edit your structural members in AutoCAD itself. You just have to import your structural drawings into that template and it's going to edit all your drawings for you in the standard format so that it can be approved by the appropriate um, government agency. Okay, so these are all the stuff we are going to discuss about in this uh, particular video tutorial. So we're going to be talking about part foundations, we're going to be talking about strip foundations, raft foundation and also pile foundations. I'm also going to be giving you some highlights on the best case studies or case scenarios where you can use all these types of foundation. If you have a muddy land area, the best foundation that is that, that is suitable for that area, how you can get the depth of the foundation and every other details that is needed. So if you are interested in learning structural designs using Prota Structure software, this is the best course for you and I promise you it's going to be what it is going to be worth it because i'm going to impute all my years of experience as a designer and i'm going to take you step by step on doing these things um conveniently by yourself now you might be asking what if i'm not an architect or i'm not um, a civil engineer now not to worry you just have to have interest in construction okay you just have to have interest in building construction generally if you have interest in building construction and you need the basics the course is for you you can learn it and you can improve on it with time with consistent practice so i'm going to hop into my screen to show you some um, practical exercises that we're going to be using in this particular video course come with me yeah and i'm going to show you a simple project that i did some time ago so this is a 
proposed residential development for Mr. John. This is a fictitious name anyway. I just changed the name for security reasons. So this is actually the first floor plan that was made by the architect. You can see, sorry, the ground floor, floor plan rather. You can see it's a twin um, residential building. This is the living room, the master bedroom, the dining, the kitchen, the other bedroom. So everything that is here is also replicated here. Right there is a staircase at the center. Then we also have a steel staircase, spiral staircase for exits. Opposite. So this is the ground floor, and this is the first floor. Exactly the same thing was replicated on the first floor, and then this is the roof plan. This is the left um, floor elevation. This is the right side elevation. Um, this is the back elevation, and this is the front elevation. Okay, and then we have the section of the drawing right here. Okay, you can see the roof heights, the floor heights. And other details. Okay, so this particular architectural drawing was what I designed in Prota Structures to produce the structural designs. Let me show you how I did that. Now, this particular project was located in Lagos. Okay, so it requires of for persons in Nigeria that know about Lagos. You know that Lagos, most part of Lagos, don't have a very firm soil, so it requires either raft foundation or pile foundation. So I actually use raft foundation for this particular building. If you are constructing your project in a place where you have firm soil, of course, before you begin your project, you must have conducted some soil tests to determine the stability of the soil. So depending on the soil test reports, you can decide whether you, have, you are going to use a pad foundation, a raft foundation, or a pile foundation. So based on the soil reports of this project, the a raft foundation was actually recommended. So this is the design, the structural design of that part, this particular residential building project. You can see the slabs. The slab is 150 mm thickness. The columns is 225 by 225. That is 9 inches by 9 inches. Okay. And the beams is um, 225 by 450. Okay. So that is the first floor beams okay so if you move over to the roof you discover that i made some changes because the roof beams is supposed to actually be smaller than the floor beams so my roof beams is actually 225 by 300 mm depth okay now you will discover that in my architectural plan i have a wooden roof okay this is a wooden roof with some roofing sheets on top of it. So, Prota Structures does not have that functionality of designing wooden roof. Okay, so what we normally do, we assume the weight of the slab on the roof to be equivalent to the weight of the wooden roof. So, we just use 10 mm thick slab to replicate the weight of the roof. Okay, in the course of this tutorial, I'm going to show, tell you exactly why we do that. Okay, so this is how it looks. If you want to see the 3D design looks, this particular color represents the wall. We can add wall loads on our building. Why this represents the raft beams, okay? You can see this raft beam is 1.2 meters depth. It is bigger than the regular um, floor beams, which is just 450 mm depth, okay? So this is how you can actually design a structure with greater structure. So if you want to see the analysis and the detailing you just simply go to this tab the analysis go to your building analysis data structures will allow you to select the concrete grid and the steel grid just like we would talk about in the first video tutorial of this course we're going to talk about some basics of structural engineering such as concrete grids steel grids and that. so i'm going to explain what all these things mean okay likewise i'm also going to talk about load combinations for this particular building we we'll just have dead loads and life loads. No need for wind loads because it's just a one-story building. Okay, but if you are designing structures that are above four stories, then you have to consider wind load. I'm also going to show you how you apply wind loads to your structure. Then you can actually edit the material types from here, and you can also choose the diameter of reinforcement bars you want to use for your columns, your slabs, your beams and other structural members okay 
So after that, you move over to analysis, the model check and sometimes this analysis will take time to run. So I'm not going to do that because of I don't want this video to be too long. So this is just another view of how you use protein structures. If you want to see the design reports, your calculation sheets, you can also see them here for government approval purposes. You know, if you finish your structural design, you might want to approve it. Okay, so you will need all the drawings together with your calculation sheets to submit for approval. Okay, so in the course of this training, I'm going to talk about how you can design high rise structures related to wind loads and um, using pile foundation, using rafts foundation, and even using pad foundation as well for your normal residential structures.